In this problem, we are given four linear equations and asked to give the constant rate of change, the initial value, as well as describe the behavior. Let's begin with a review. The sloped-intercept form of a line is y equals mx plus b, or if we change the order of the addition, we can say y equals b plus mx. Either way, notice how m is the coefficient of x, which is the slope, which is also the constant rate of change, and b, the constant term, is the vertical intercept. b is also called the initial or starting value, which is the value of y when x is zero. And we can say that the output y starts at b, the initial or starting value, and then changes at a rate of m, where again m is the constant rate of change. And now for the behavior, when the slope m is greater than zero or positive, we say the behavior is increasing because the line is going uphill from left to right. If the slope m is less than zero or negative, the behavior is decreasing because the line goes down from left to right. If the slope m is zero, we say the behavior is horizontal because the line is horizontal. And if the slope m is undefined, the behavior is vertical because we have a vertical line. So going back to our table, notice how the first equation is y equals six x minus five. This line is in the form y equals mx plus b. We'll notice how m is six and b is negative five. Well, the constant rate of change is m, and therefore the constant rate of change is six. b is the initial value, and therefore the initial value is negative five. And then for the behavior, because the constant rate of change, or m, is positive, the behavior is increasing. The next linear equation is y equals eight minus two t. Notice how here we have the variable t rather than x, but the equation is still in the form of y equals b plus mx. We'll notice how we have the constant term first and then the variable term. So m is the coefficient of t this time, which is negative two because of the subtraction, and b is positive eight. So because the slope is negative two, the constant rate of change is negative two, the initial value is b, which is positive eight, and because the constant rate of change, or m, is negative, the behavior is decreasing. The next linear equation is y equals two a. y equals two a is in the form of y equals mx plus b, where now the slope m is the coefficient of a, and therefore m, the constant rate of change, is two. And notice how there is no b value, so if we wanted to, we could put plus zero on here, and therefore b is zero, where b is the initial or starting value. So again, the constant rate of change is two. The initial value is zero. Because the constant rate of change or slope is positive, the behavior is increasing. The last equation is y equals negative four. Notice how we only have a constant term, so this fits either of these two forms here. Let's go ahead and reference the second form of y equals b plus mx. Notice how in this equation there's no variable term, so if it's helpful, we could think of this as negative four plus zero x, and therefore the slope m is zero, and b, the vertical intercept, or initial value, is negative four. So the constant rate of change is zero, the initial value is negative four, and because the constant rate of change or slope is zero, the behavior is horizontal. I hope you found this helpful.